Hello everybody, welcome back to High Ground. My name is Tanner, and today we're going to be going over the first three days of Bracket Essex Invitational 2024. This is actually going to have, I guess, the majority of the matches because they play a ton in the first few days, and then they save the, the really deep matches, you know, the grand final and the, the few rounds before that for the final three days. So yeah, we're going to talk about all 16 of these and then these four as well. And at the time that I'm recording this, uh, this game's already happened, this game's going on, and then these two have yet to happen. So later on in the day, I'll, I'll record after those have concluded and I'll splice it into this video. But for now, let's get these uh, 16 games over with. And I guess we'll we'll just go in order. I also have my, my bracket prediction that I did and I'll maybe reference this at some point. Um, uh, maybe I'll come back at the end and, and we'll compare a little bit because yeah, a lot of it got cooked pretty early because of, uh, well, some surprising results, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to this though later. So starting with Wolves versus W7M, I mean, a huge upset here, and I guess I have to scroll up a little bit for it. Yeah, uh, Wolves take down W7M. It goes all, all three maps and probably one of the, oh, certainly one of the best series of the event. And, and some people were saying that, you know, this would probably want to be one of the better matches of all time had there been a little bit more in the way of stakes, had it been deeper in the bracket, uh, maybe on the main stage. But as you can see, you know, anybody doing this to W7M, really close maps, but in the end, the other team taking it is, uh, you know, an exciting event in and of itself, sending W7M to the lower bracket immediately uh, to the surprise of most people. And I mean, I think really only contrarians would have picked Wolves. I don't think anybody really believes Wolves were going to take down W7M. Them. Phase versus Los. Uh, yeah, I don't think a super surprising result, although Los did sort of dismantle these guys in Atlanta. I think it was the semifinals and Los won. I don't even remember what it was, but I think they won in two maps and neither of them went to overtime. They were like super dominant. They destroyed them. But uh, as, as I predicted, and I think as a lot of people predicted based on what we've seen from FaZe and Los in the event thus far, yeah, FaZe do take it down even if it takes three maps. Dark Zero versus Liquid. Thought this one would be a bit closer, but I did expect Dark Zero to take it. 7-4 and 7-1, one of the more dominant showings uh, throughout the event. You know, only five rounds won, which we've seen multiple times. Uh, we've seen some matches that were like 7-3, 7-2, and, and this one and I think like a 7-5, 7-0. So yeah, not uh, the most dominant, but uh, surprisingly so in a matchup between these two sort of Titan squads. But I think you did really see the, the cracks in Liquid in the event thus far. They didn't get grouped like a lot of people expected they would. They didn't even start in the lower bracket. As you can see, they started up here, but... Uh, but still, you know, they, they didn't look impressive by any means, and Dark Shore sort of did, and they continue that in this matchup. Nip versus Fury. I went with the the underdog pick on this one. I went with Fury, so I guess two and two in this first round for me. Not not spectacular by any means. And Fury did take the first map, and then they lost the next two. So there was certainly hope, and I think Ninja Zimba Jamas definitely were the favorite, but I, I think Fury certainly could have taken this. And then I guess we'll go here next, because that's what happened in in chronological order. So Wolves versus Sonics, another destruction, just like we saw over here, only five rounds won by the, the losing team. And that was Wolves here. Yeah, Sonics make it 10 and 0 at the event. Uh, they've yet to drop a map up to this point. And as you can see, that does not continue. But yeah, they destroy Wolves, which was especially surprising given what we just saw them do against W7M. Uh, maybe they ran out of gas. Maybe it was a matchup thing, whatever the case, because these two matches were played in the same day, not directly back to back, but uh, you know, only a handful of hours in between. So Sonic's still looking pretty solid, made Wolves look a little bit foolish. G2 versus FaZe, and another upset, I don't think nearly as big as Wolves taking down W7M, but uh, FaZe taking down G2, I think a bit of a surprise because a lot of people had G2 going quite deep. I I did get this one right, so I had this matchup on my bracket, but I had G2 taking it, I think 2-1. I guess we can just double check it really quickly. I even had him 2-0. I guess I really overestimated G2 or underestimated FaZe. I think more more is so is the case. G2 barely pulls out the first map too. This could have been a 2-0 had one round gone differently. Then we have Space Station versus Dark Zero. There's sort of a little triangle in NA of just really banger matchups and it's it's these two and Sonics. Whenever DZ versus Sonics, DZ versus SSG or SSG versus Sonics, it's usually a really good match. Whether it's a best of one or a best of three, it usually is really tight down to the wire. Uh, not too, too long ago, we did see DZ like 7-0 SSG but that's a little bit of a, a standout. Usually they go like 12 rounds or 15 rounds or whatever. And as I expected, Dark Zero does take it. I think Dark Zero has a pretty solid record over Space Station in the grand scheme of things. I think SSG has a couple recent wins, fairly recent, but I think they're like round 15 wins. So as close as it could be, Dark Zero could have taken those as well, but they do take it here, right? So a uh, close, uh, close cafe and then destruction on, on border. And so Space Station actually won more rounds than, than Dark Zero did in the series. Dark Zero winning 17, Space Station winning, I guess, 18. But, uh, you know, it is not rounds that wins you 
wins you a match, it is maps. So the, the final upper bracket that we have to talk about, I guess we have one more technically, but that happened before the day I'm recording this. Uh, Virtus Pro versus Nip, and yeah, I, I guess I expected this. Did I have this as a, well, no, I had Fury here, right? And I think I had it as a 2-0 probably, uh-huh. So I I, def I still predicted Virtus Pro to win, even when it was Nip here, and I, I guess I probably would have gone 2-0, but uh, yeah, 7-0 on bank is surprising. Uh, Nip not winning a single round, what more can you say? You don't expect any decent team to really ever get 7 0 but it happens sometimes, I suppose. And then to, uh, yeah, let's move on to the lower bracket. We have W7M versus Fear X, and this one, I guess Fear X put up a little bit more of a fight than you might have expected. This was closer than uh, Wolves did against Sonics and Liquid did against Dark Zero, which is an impressive an impressive feat in its own right for for fear x that a lot of people think is uh terrible and maybe for good reason but you know i guess at least they got eight rounds on w7m better than nothing los versus bleed uh, i think i had bleed here did i have them it might have been in three yeah okay so i thought that los would at least get a map but no they uh they do get the map against phase i suppose so they at least get one map in playoffs but they fall immediately in bracket just like they did last year they actually topped their group so they they got the first round by and then they fell, so they lost, you know, somewhere in here and somewhere in here. So they did make top 12, but they did go 0-2 in bracket last year and this year did not get the buy. So they go, when they go 0-2, they only make top 16. So uh, definitely didn't do as well as last year in their group. And uh, that amounted to a not as impressive performance as last year. So at least they have the good showing in Atlanta. There are some rumors of this team moving to NA. We'll see what actually happens there if that's just a complete uh made up rumor or if there's some ground to it whatever the case uh yeah bleed knocks them out only five rounds one once again just like wolves just like liquid uh, same thing happens to los here in the lower bracket and again falcons they only win five rounds they get seven oh seven five so this it's funny we've actually seen this a lot but a lot of different score lines we see a zero and five we see a, a three and a two we see a four and a one we see a three and a two okay so maybe one repeat there but yeah falcons bow out uh, pretty quickly i think this was expected even if liquid didn't look great in this event falcons i uh, looked pretty bad as well they have all these raw weird weird roster things and initially it couldn't be helped they they had players that just couldn't play due to health issues or visa issues or something and they got him in on the second day but joker never played so i don't know if he just never got his visa or what what the case is there but they had a million different players on the roster and then there were even rumors of i think tyrant supposed to play on this roster they could have put leader on full-time whatever the case uh the event didn't go that well for them i guess at least they didn't get grouped but uh, they do fall here in top 16 pretty decisively to liquid then we have fury versus bliss so a little of apac on apac another 7-0 this time for for bliss i predicted fury here right but i, I well i had nip down here right but then when um when nip actually won I, I still went with Fury. I guess I really underestimated Bliss because as, as you can see here, they won this one and they won against Wolves as well. So Wolves beat W7M and then they, they really fell off. So, I mean, yeah, a 7-0 and then, then a close second map and then a close-ish consulate. Bliss were up pretty heavily though. I think they might've even been up 6-0 or something. 5-1 at least, but I want to say it was a 6-0 half and then I guess Fury almost battled it back when they got on defense, but uh, not quite. They still needed a couple more rounds to push overtime. And then we have Nip versus W7M. So this is only the second, I th or no, I guess I guess that's not true. Um, I was gonna say this is only the second Brazilian versus Brazilian showdown in the in the event, and I guess that's true in bracket, right? Because we have this one, but we also saw W7M versus Liquid in the in the groups, which uh, was two one W7M, right? Didn't Liquid win in like round? 15 or something i guess i can well no what I'll, I'll just leave it be because i have to go to a different page too i think that's what happened so uh, liquid won i think the second map and then uh w7m won the other two pretty decisively so yeah we see w7m eliminating nip so that is you know the 2021 winners and the 2020 uh runners up of the of the six invitational eliminated from the event and they didn't bow out totally ungracefully they get beaten pretty badly on bank again just like by virtus pro i'm sure it's not a 7l but uh, uh they lose pretty handily and then eight to seven on cafe w7m sends them packing so i think w7m said before the event or not uh, before bracket actually started that they intended to make a big lower bracket run so i don't think they threw versus wolves but i mean i guess they said they were going to make a big lower bracket run they 2-0 fear x no overtime they 2-0 ninjas in pajamas one overtime but uh, decisive on the other map then we have space station versus bleed this was a really fun one to watch even if it didn't go all three maps i definitely checked this one out just for some of the plays reaps went insane on the second map not enough to get his team over the line jane i know had I mean, probably one of the nicest plays of all time getting that uh I think it was a quad kill in the round, but a triple, a triple kill with the pistol, the RG15. Um, 
on who was it like who who has it on attack? It was like Zofia or something. There's another maybe another op has it. I can't remember. Uh, Zofia has it, but I, don't, I can't remember if that's who he was playing or not. Might have been. Might not have been. Uh, yeah, bleed uh, bleed sent home and they had a pretty good event. They were like one round away from making it into the upper bracket if they would beaten Virtus Pro, and then they at least got this solid win here. And then, I mean, who knows if they had um, pushed it to the third map because they were up like 6-4 or, or even 6-3 or something on Chalet, but then Space Station with like four or five rounds in a row to secure the, the map in the series. G2 versus Liquid, and this looks like a really big one if you're just looking at the at the names in the in the matchup and the last time i believe these two played was in copenhagen and liquid knocked g2 out in top eight and liquid made it all the way to the grand final losing to w7m but yeah g2 was the favorite in in that matchup and liquid ended up taking it i think it was in three but certainly liquid took it and now liquid put up a little bit of a fight they get eight rounds total i guess better than they did against dark zero but still pretty decisive seven four seven four it's it's pretty clean and you definitely expected it and it looked like liquid expected it after the matchup that uh, you could just sort of see it on their faces they didn't look heartbreaking heartbroken like we've seen from them multiple times before and i guess maybe it's a little bit more heartbreaking when you get eliminated in the grand final as opposed to top 12 but yeah it seemed like they they knew it was coming maybe because it was just g2 or maybe um a lot of other teams could have knocked them out as well just because they weren't playing so well this event maybe some roster changes in the future we'll have to see wolves versus bliss and this is i mean one of the bigger shocks i guess I, I think at this point everybody expected wolves was going to advance and the final team not from brazil north america or europe would be knocked out of the event but no we get an, an australian team in top eight they're really making a run and i guess they sort of prove themselves as maybe the best apac team um apac i guess a little bit of a retired term since they broke up the region but i think a lot of people still use it i guess i still use it uh, maybe bleed obviously they've now made it farther than bleed but you might argue that bleed had a, a tougher path because they had that group of death and then well they beat low so they lost the space station though who you might argue better team than wolves and, and fury as well so we'll have to see how they fare against g2 if they put up a good fight good for them if they win i mean <laughs> spectacular for them they'll make top six the the likes of which Hasn't been done since, what, like Fnatic a long time ago or something, which I think might have had Virtue on the roster at the time, who's now on G2. And I guess that does it for all of these. Let's just talk about, uh, yeah, let's talk about this one really quickly since it's already finished. And then we'll we'll leave the other three for later. Not too much to talk about, though. It's 7-4, and phase cleaning up 2-0 fashion. A couple of close maps, obviously Clubhouse being very close, Oregon being... Uh, not super close you know seven four is really on the line if it's seven three or or better for a team it's pr it's pretty decisive seven five or overtime and it's uh it's a pretty close affair and then seven four you know i guess it could go either way depending on how some of the rounds look but no phase look not i mean i guess they look pretty good like sonics didn't look spectacular through the event if you really put them under the the uh the magnifying glass because yeah they were 10-0 up to this point but you'd probably say that they didn't play any of the really top teams at the event and and wolves you know they were looking like they might have been based on some of their group stage play and the fact that they beat w7m but then the fact that uh they got smashed here and then the fact that they bowed out against bliss probably sours the uh the opinion on them a little bit for a lot of people so yeah i, I guess that's gonna do it and i will i'll just add in the other part of this video when i'm done and we're back with the updated bracket so let's take a look at these last few matches this is one we just talked about yeah phase took it over sonics and really <laughs> pretty bad day for north america and i guess also australia uh all of the north american teams lost and the one australian team lost and pretty good day for Brazil and Europe because uh, two of their teams each won, and that was all of them, you know, FaZe Clan, W7M, G2, and Virtus Pro. So, yeah, next game was DZ Virtus Pro, and this was a really good one. Uh, it went max regulation, max regulation, max overtime, and it only went to, I think, to push overtime. I, yeah, I believe it was the round to push overtime for, for Virtus Pro. Always got a 1v3 clutch, uh, got two got a kill then down the guy that was planting and then maybe killed him and then one on time and it would have been a seven five in favor of dark zero and i believe virtus pro even came back from i think they were down like six three and then they they did drop one more round but only after they made it to overtime so they won five of six rounds to win it eight seven big heartbreaker for dark zero but they could still make the lower bracket run yes you do have to play some more matches when you go down to the lower bracket but uh, at least you don't have any major major disadvantage like they did in the past in the grand final, I believe, right? I don't think there's any map advantage. They're probably like the pick the pick advantage or whatever, but at least you get to fight for all, all five of the maps if you make it to all five maps. So yeah, where were we? I uh, did look at this one and then we had two lower bracket matches setting up the, the final six. So 
W7M versus Space Station. It started first and it actually ended, it ended first, yeah, but uh, this one ended just barely after because it was a much shorter series. W7M takes a seven to four on Clubhouse and then SSG, uh, they take it on Cafe and it was looking kind of dangerous, uh, you know, a lot of the way through as it generally is against W7M. Uh, SSG with, a, I think, a decent round win on the the first round of overtime, but then Bolt's big kills in the in the 14th round to secure it for SSG. They were down two to four, I think, and then Fultz got a 3K, and then I think it's Hodden or somebody gets the, the other kill to close out the map. And then Chalet, yeah, SSG, they go down 5-1 after the first half. They even lose the next round. They're down 6-1. Uh, you know, maybe just slight flashbacks of when they were down 1-6 to six against FaZe, and they made a big comeback, but no, they couldn't make it happen. They got two rounds, and then that's it. W7M closes it out. And the last round, even maybe a bit of a choke. They are up 5-3, to three, a lot of time on the clock, and then they just got picked apart by the remaining three players of w7m and then finally g2 versus bliss and i mean some people think maybe maybe bliss can do it and they were up 4-1 uh, admittedly it was you know on the defense of oregon of course you're probably going to get four rounds and then it was a 4-2 half and then uh, g2 got five round when well, they went five and one on their attack to close it out seven to five and then a seven to four chalet so bliss kept it somewhat competitive on the two maps they played no overtime no third map but still close ish maps and I guess that I guess that pretty much does it for the bracket. Again, we'll look at mine just really quickly, but let's talk about the the matches we have lined up here. So, Face Clan versus Virtus Pro. Um, I don't even know if I want to predict these matches because, like, oh, well, these both have NA, so of course I want to pick NA. But I mean, <laughs> it's the two grand finalists from last year, the two teams that I predicted to be in the grand final, and then I guess only one of them can actually make it there since they're both in the lower bracket. Face Clan versus Virtus Pro. Um, Virtus Pro in it was 2022, and I guess they were still Empire. They made it to the grand final from from Winter Side, right? Didn't they beat TSM here, and then TSM beat Phase Clan here, and then made it to, made it to the grand final where TSM won? I think that's what happened, right? Or was it back? Yeah, I think I think Virtus Pro won. Uh, Empire won the first one, and then TSM won the grand final. Anyways, uh, you know they they're no strangers to being very deep in tournament even in grand final and phase yeah they've not made it to the grand final of si but they were again third place two years ago and they i don't remember where they made it last year actually i think they were okay last year but uh, don't quote me on that anyways yeah i'm not gonna actually gonna predict but um i don't know i'm just sort of learning ver leaning virtus pro phase clan have been they've been pretty vicious but I don't know. Like Virtus Pro just seem like they have the they have the grit, but again, no predictions here. Uh, and of course, I want Sonics and Dark Zero to win, but uh, we'll see if that actually happens because certainly they're underdogs in each matchup. I did predict Sonics to beat W7M in my bracket uh, earlier on, but then I did have them rematching, and I had W7M winning. And I don't think I had these two playing, but again, uh, Dark Zero sort of underdogs. So let's look at my bracket really quickly and see how it turned out. Um, of course, my bracket is fully predicted as opposed to. Uh, the current bracket not being complete but yeah so we had a couple of differences here which of course because they happened very very early on have rippling effects and because of the the bracket flip and all this um in my yeah so i have g2 versus dark zero and neither of these teams are here in the upper bracket final actually but they are both in the tournament for my top six even g2 w7m dark zero sonics Virtus pro I had Space Station instead of Phase, so I did get five of the six actual top six teams right, I mean in, in different orders and whatnot. I think I predicted fairly well, had had W7M not been upset here, and I guess G2 not been sort of upset here, I think my bracket would have been really good, but a, f a few upsets made my bracket a little bit questionable. But anyways, uh, I think that's going to do it, so is there anything else to talk about at the moment? I don't believe so. Uh, so yeah, I guess expect another video in in a few days recapping the the final rounds and then maybe an additional video at some point where I'll just sort of talk about the the whole event in its totality and all my predictions and whatever. We'll see if I end up doing that. Uh, anyways, I will catch you guys next time.